investigation into the deadly sinking of an Oregon fishing vessel reveals questions about the captain's readiness against the power of Mother Nature. And today the Coast Guard and the investigation started a hearing into the deadly Mary B2 capsizing that killed three fishermen earlier this year. Emily Burris listened to today's hearing. She joins us with more on this. I think there was a, an important piece of information that came out of this, Emily. Yeah, there were several new details revealed today. You might remember this story back when it happened, the boat battling waves up to 20 feet as it tried to get back into Yaquina Bay on a stormy January night. Even with a Coast Guard escort, they didn't make it. Now the Coast Guard is continuing its formal investigation in a public hearing this week, looking at everything from weather conditions to the boat's seaworthiness to the condition of the crew. Can you state your names? Coast Guard investigators in Newport are now in the midst of a week-long public hearing about the capsizing of the Mary B-2. Witnesses called to the stand first shined a light on the ship's captain, 50-year-old Stephen Bernacki, originally from New Jersey. Tempted to talk to him about local conditions and stuff. The ship's previous owner told investigators he doubted Bernanke's ability to handle one of the most dangerous coastal crossings in the world. I was concerned about after talking to him a little bit during the cell boat that he may not have the knowledge or respect of the people in the bar. But as I say, he was not very receptive or interested in having those conversations. But he just assured me he knew what he was doing. Investigators also revealed new toxicology results, showing Bernanke had methamphetamine and alcohol in his system. Cannabinoids were detected in another crew member from New Jersey, James Lacey. He was pretty tired. Oregon State Police Senior Trooper Heather Van Meter testified she'd spoken with the captain before their fateful mission, saying he'd seemed impaired, slurring his speech. From what, she couldn't say for sure. She really get worn out through the season and um, he looked like he'd been up for a long time fishing. Coast Guard investigators in Newport, again, still in the midst of this week-long public hearing. Now, the owner of a local seafood restaurant also told Trooper Van Meter he was worried about the captain's impairment. He recalled a conversation they had at his restaurant and said he was also worried about a boat that size going out in these stormy conditions. Investigators also today said it was unclear whether these toxicology results played any role in the boat's sinking. Jeff? All right, Emily, thank you as those hearings continue. A